And so here we are, my darlings, the start of a new series. A few years ago, I did a My Dream Home series here on the channel and you loved it. So it got me thinking. Why don't we make this a bit more of an ongoing series? So what we're going to do is build my dream home, but in lots of different styles, because there are many places and houses that I would love to live in. And where this series starts today is with a farmhouse. I'm kind of specific as to what I actually love. And it's these beautiful Georgian farmhouses with outbuildings. We're going to go through and create some of those outbuildings themselves. And I'm going to think about it realistically from kind of my point of view. So maybe I would like an income coming from this plot of land. So maybe a few places where I could rent something out as an Airbnb or something like that. I would love to have animals as well. Primarily horses. I'd love a horse. So I'll have to chuck in a stable somewhere as well. Maybe a greenhouse somewhere where I'd love to grow my own fruit and veg and produce and stuff. That is a definite must for this lot. With a nice big garden and also maybe a modern extension put on the back of the actual farmhouse as well. I just, that's my dream. And that is what we're going to do today. Now, this series is going to be a little bit different to the rest of them. We're going to go a little bit more in depth with stuff as well. If I need to make something sort of like customize it with tool, the tool mod, we'll do that even further. It's not going to be massively edited either. I'm just going to let the like video roll. That goes for all of my landscaping and stuff. We're just going to do it all on camera. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Very much indeed. So without further ado, step one of the process is to find our inspiration. And what better place to find our inspiration than some lovely estate agent sites. So I've lined up three houses, all kind of differing each other, but they're still very similar in lots of ways. They've got this like Georgian aspect kind of here. And it's in my dream place, the place where I love to go. And this is in Cornwall. I just love, look at this. I love this kind of like side extension to the actual farmhouse over on this side here as well. And just the elevation looking down to the sea, just beautiful if you can see what i mean it's got lots of like outhouses and stuff around here like all like original stone we could even modernize this slightly and maybe make that into a bit of like an airbnb or something now the interiors not so much <laughs> it's very classic mm, not really my vibe especially this kind of like sort of like corkboard ceiling that's going on here this house could definitely do with a bit of work a bit of uplift i love this sort of area here with the fireplace and things i think that's really lovely love the parquet flooring going through it i think that's like the herringbone i think it's absolutely gorgeous i really like this kitchen as well i love the kind of beams going across the top here could do i'm not really into this kitchen very much i think it needs like a little bit of like organization and maybe more shelves and stuff put around it but again we're just using these as kind of ideas you know and this is another one that i found as well the same sort of thing that very much georgian three windows at the top and two at the bottom of the door in the middle kind of moment this is a very nice kind of square shaped one i've not really seen them in this shape before i've normally seen them kind of like a bit longer and then maybe with an extension at the back but this just seems to be the whole uh house itself and i just think it's lovely nice big garden really like this kitchen not too keen on the tiles behind here but this kind of vibe, I love, I would love like an Arga in the kitchen. So we're going to definitely try and make that apparent as well. Bathroom, eh. <laughs> kind of like the idea that the bath's on top of the platform here. But this bathroom is not for me. It's very much, it's, it's too, it's too loud. Far too loud for me. But I really do like this one. I think this one is really, really cute as well. So we're going to take kind of several aspects between all of the houses that I've found here. But that kind of gives you an idea of what we're actually going to go for today. And I'm very excited for it. We're going to take it very slow. We're going to start off on the exterior of the actual house itself. And maybe choose some windows and stuff. So this will be a very kind of slow sort of relaxing process. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get ourselves over to the lot in question in Henford on Bagley. And so here we are, my loves. In the world of Henford on Bagley on a 64 by 64 lot. This is where the Watson family farm, the one that I built... Um, <laughs> this is where that usually is but I just think this would be the perfect lot for my dream farmhouse it's just lo such a lovely lot to build on lots of things are going to be coming into here so we definitely need as much space as possible we are going to be using some custom content as well of course but I don't think there's anything else left to say apart from let's make a start on the first steps 
so first things first, I just want to get an idea of where I'm going to be putting everything. I think the main house itself, the main kind of farmhouse, I want around this area here. But I do want the terrain to be lifted up slightly. Maybe with a kind of like elevated garden on this side and maybe a lower garden on this side. So there's kind of a front and back moment. Now, I'm not necessarily going to use all of this lot for my own. I wouldn't want something this huge. I would want some kind of like lovely big space for a garden, but almost to be kind of like coincided with some like farmer's fields. So I think we're going to make that apparent as well. Put a couple of farmer's fields over on this side. The farm, like my farmhouse on this side here but also some kind of little annex off to the edges, maybe where I would have an office as well, but also somewhere where I could, as I said, rent out an Airbnb, something like that. So that's what we're going to do. So I don't think I want to face the farmhouse this way. I think what I want to do is like the reference image that I'll pop up on the screen quickly now. You can see it's kind of like facing downwards. I really like that. Like it's, there's kind of like this side aspect to it. So this can be the farmer's fields on this side, farmers my farmhouse is there and then my kind of like lands around this area here so that's what we're going to do today let's make a bloody start now things might be subject to change we'll see what happens but we're just going to continue on anyway yes we bloody are a doge can we get some better lighting here thank you i think that's going to be a bit too small i think what the main farmhouse needs to be is around about that size or maybe even one less because i need to work out what windows we're going to be using the spatial awareness i think three in the middle there for a door would be perfect and then two and two there for the windows so let me find the perfect georgian looking sash windows now i think i found the perfect windows these are amazing i love these they're my favorite you've seen them use we use them many times these are from charlie pancakes and they are part of her maple constructions collection I think those would be perfect. Let me see the door. The door in question I'm using is from Harry. It's part of her coastal collection. I do love the colour, but I'm wondering if I would love like a real sage green colour door like this. I think that would be absolutely my idea of heaven. Now that I've got these windows here, I think that we need to bring it in slightly like this. And I think that spatial awareness will just be a much better fit for us. Yes, it will indeed. Right, we're going to go back. We're going to go back not too far. I do want the house to have a nice footprint. It doesn't need to be massive. I don't need a massive house. But I would love a nice substantial size with like a nice big like sort of um, hallway with a boot room and stuff kind of like coinciding it. So let's get this in there for now. And I am going to go through and we are going to do floor plans with this series as well. So let's get a semi kind of floor plan going down here first off. So into the lovely main entrance. So what I want to do, I want it to be kind of a three wide entrance, to be honest with you. It's making the living room area quite small. But I fear we might have to go just one more on either side to get the balance right, which in turn is going to make me want to move the windows. So I'm going to move the windows over just... A little tad like that and we're going to hope for the best with that there yes i think that should work and i want the stairs to kind of wrap around in this area here so i'm going to go and i think i'm going to cut the the hallway off to about there this would be a perfect size for a kitchen and a diner i do want a toilet down here as well which i might put behind where the stairs are which in turn does cut the house off like this way but it won't this way so it doesn't really matter too much that's very realistic for a british house and personally i don't really like kitchen living rooms i don't that's not for me i don't I, when i'm in the living room i like to chill out i don't want to hear or smell somebody cooking it's just something what a personal preference for me but we did say we are going to do a kind of modern extension out the back here so that is what i want to get in now and I do want to get a greenhouse on this lot as well. A lovely stone greenhouse with kind of like Victorian sort of windows in it. I've got I've got a, I've got an idea, but until we get to the actual furnishing themselves, which is where I'll show you like reference images that like I've going to I'm going to go through and look for my dream kind of like kitchen look for farmhouses and stuff. It's going to be a whole thing, loves. It really will. Um I think that's going to be a bit too big. I think we need to stick to that there. I think that would be absolutely fine. So we've got our living area here that I would love some kind of access out from as well. 
So that in turn is going to connect the rest of the house together. Kind of feeling that vibe, to be honest. And I might make this bathroom. No, I was going to make the bathroom bigger, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have a bigger bathroom upstairs because I would love to have access out from the hallway into the back of the house here. So I don't think I'm going to do that, though. I think for now, I'm just going to close that off and we'll figure that out at a later date. So upstairs, very simply, I'm going to bring that across and get that vibe coming through there. Lovely. But we do need to go and get some stairs in. I think that's the shape that we're going to use for the stairs here. I think that would be absolutely perfect. It still swings around and I'll probably put up some kind of half wall or even a full wall there. We'll see what happens. Or even just a banister. We'll have a, we'll have a little look. We'll have a little look. Now, ideally, I would love this house to have three bedrooms. So we're going to try and make that apparent as well. So I think first off, having this area here as one of the bedrooms, I'm going to do a big bathroom on this side here because we did say we wanted an, a much more substantial size bathroom here. Not massively realistic for these farmhouses. They never really do have massive bathrooms, but I just think it would look nice in this place. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's my dream home, you know? So that is what we are going to do indeed. And then I think over on this side, I could probably do two equal sized bedrooms on here and I'm not too worried about this kind of hallway area be here being only kind of one tile wide because a lot of with again with these farmhouses they do have very sort of like narrow hallways and stuff upstairs it's just a thing it's just a thing indeed I think that is an okay floor plan it flows quite nicely I think it's going to be kind of easy to get to everything I think what I'll do is maybe finish the banister around there and connect it in with a pillar down below that might be happening so we can have we can kind of like knock this area out if you get what I mean like if we bish bash boost that out and had that open and then had some kind of banister around here we'll see what happens with that as well let me get that all back for now because I think we need to concentrate now on putting the windows in the right places maybe choosing some smaller windows at the back for the kitchen and also getting some wallpapers and stuff together first things first let's concentrate on the front of the house and get that very Georgian-esque farmhouse look but as I said, it's very much always this beautiful that. There's just something about that. Three windows at the top, two at the bottom of a door. Ah, it makes me moist every single time I see it. And I just think that's going to fit in there kind of perfectly. I'm going to do some kind of roof line down on this bit here as well, I think, with some kind of porch. I would like to see that. So maybe we could do that now. And I think going for some sort of half-hipped roof here would be the way to go. I'm going to make sure all of the flaps are in. And I'm going to pull this across to that wide, I think. Let me see that. I'm going to pull it down, obviously. I'm not a silly bum. Can I pull flaps out? What would you look like if I did that? Is that a bit dramatic? That's very dramatic, Hayden, yes. In fact, even that's a bit dramatic. Maybe I could do that and then pull flaps out. Let me see. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And I am just going to lift this up, elevate this just slightly. I will have a nice porch moment on the front of the house there, I think. Which in turn, we need to put a rooftop onto this here as well now. And I want to get chimney breasts on each side. I definitely want to make a focal point of the fireplaces in this uh, house. I really do. All flaps in for sure. Eve's tucked in, my loves. Labia's in. <laughs> and then there's quite a low profile of the roof line. I'm checking that reference image that I flopped up on the screen. Um... And it does like kind of bow in slightly, but I don't, I might do it just a tad, just a little bit and then bring it down even more to about there. I think that's going to be perfect. Yeah, that's what I want. So I'm happy with that, but I do want to extend the house out slightly on this side. I really do, which in turn could house an office, maybe a media room, something along that. I would love that kind of like dedicated space for a bit of like a projector screen and stuff. So maybe I'm going to do that. And I don't, I'm don't. i not going to go up on the top. I'm just going to come out on the actual bottom itself. I don't want this house to be too big. Not at all. Three bedrooms is absolutely enough for me. So that is what we're going to do. I'm not going to go into the back of the house there, I don't think. Uh, maybe I could because I could do some kind of... Or do I want to knock down this wall or should we have a door there? Because this is where... I want to put the kitchen. I want to put the kitchen over into this side here, like around this area here, I think. But I think what I need to do first is just knock down some walls I don't think are necessary. The same with this like modern extension area here. I still might make that extension a little bit bigger, you know. 
I'm wondering if I could like come over on this side here. No, I don't think that would work. It wouldn't work very well. Let's come over here a couple more tries. And I think what I want to do in here is have it as a bit of a sunroom, maybe even a little bit of the dining room in there as well. We'll see what happens with that too. Um, but I will knock down this wall from the hallway going into the back here and we'll decide what to do there at, at, at a later date. But my thoughts here was the kitchen's here. I would love a bit of an area where we could have a separate utility room. So I think that's what I'm going to use this area for here is a media room slash office, but also a utility room. And I just don't think this is the right shape or the right size. I think it needs to be slightly smaller. So I'm going to put the utility room there like that. And I think the media room itself is just going to skirt in on that bit there. And I think what I'm going to do is open that up to the kitchen as well, just to make it a little bit wider. Let me see this. I think that could work. We'll see what happens. That might change. I could even make the utility room a little bit bigger. We'll see what happens with that. But that kind of general floor plan is kind of nice, I think. I think we're going to make it work either way. So let's choose a roof line for this bit here. And we're just going to use the same. We're going to use the same default kind of roof line. Flaps are all in. And I'm going to bring you down out to a lower profile here. Drag you across to here, my love. And maybe just, again, just dip it just lightly in like that yeah perfect oh yes that's the vibe no idea about windows in there just yet but we'll figure that out we will figure that out let's get the roof line on to the modern extension and i just love glass roofs on modern extensions i do it just floods the area of light it just changes the whole look of a build it really does no matter if the build is a bit older uh, or even if it's brand new, there's just something about having a big skylight full of windows. Um, that just makes a build for me sometimes, makes a house for me even. But I think this could work rather nicely. So this is where I would love to put in some kind of fireplace in the kitchen. I definitely want to do a fireplace in this kitchen. It's just, it's kind of realistic to me. You see them a lot because that's how they used to like cook all of their food and heat their houses and stuff. So we're going to put a fire, we're going to put a chimney breast in here. Like this. In fact, I might use the chateau chimney breath, the chim chateau chimneys, because I think that could work with this build. And especially because they come in this wonderful grey colour, which is what I want the colour of this to be. I want it to be a Cornish granite farmhouse. Now, I do need to go up one more of this, but I'm just worried that it's going to be a bit too high. I'm going to see how much we can lift this before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe not that then. I do want to use this one though, but I'm going to figure out a way to, view, to a way to use it. So what I've done is wrapped it in a half wall at the bottom here. Now I do want this to be over the top of the roof line. It doesn't need to be massive. So how I'm going to do this is by putting the chimney in there and then lifting up the platform. So it just raises it just above the roof line area. I think it could come up one more to be honest with you. Oh, it's starting to bulge out at the end there. There we go. Well, it was meant to lift up to that height then. Oh, perfect. And we can match in the wallpapers once we actually get to it. This side doesn't really matter so much because I can just do a full breast. <laughs> I do enjoy a full breast. <laughs> Not the hat, please, Aiden. Thank you. Let me get rid of that. Oh, excuse you. Are you going to disappear? You can just go in now. Thank you. I need to copy this over because I do want the same height on each side to be honest with you i think it needs to go that way could be wrong i am not i'm correct yes yeah that's going to be perfect so to bring this together we need to find that wallpaper which i think is felix anders chateau wallpaper now it is the chateau wallpaper but i've actually found a swatch that i do prefer it's just down here so in turn we are going to change the color of the chimneys i think i've already changed that one i have I just think this color is just a little bit lighter. The other gray was just a little bit too dark for me. But we're going to pretend that this is the beautiful Cornish granite that you see in a lot, a lot of buildings down around the area. And even in Devon as well. We see it here um, very much so from Dartmoor. Dartmoor granite is beautiful when it's built um, on houses and stuff. It's just, it's just absolutely stunning. It really is. Yeah, I'm happy of how that's looking. I do need to pick some roof tiles. I'm going to use these here from Pierre Sims Domain de Clause. This has got, almost got patterns on it, so it almost looks like this kind of a bit more textured. And I do like that. I like that very much. I think that will tie in really nicely. And there's almost, oh, I always see like this terracotta like seam across the top of the builds as well. We haven't really got that. 
but I have got something that I think um, will make it work. So that's what we're going to do as well. Um, I am going to get a trim on. We're going to use this steep stepped roof trim because I just think it's the most realistic. Lop it all the way around. I'm even going to put this one on the uh, modern extension bit as well. And I think what I'm going to do is change the brick on the modern extension for something a little bit different, but still it's still going to help blend together this build. And it's this little wonderful object that came with uh, Cottage Living. I just think putting this on top will absolutely just make it amazing. You can see I've got like 2 million simoleons down here. <laughs> but money isn't everything, loves. I would rather have happiness and health. Um, and that is the way that I'm going about it. Yes, it is. Yeah, I think that's a good vibe. That gives it. I'm going to put it on this one too. It has got it in the reference image. But again, we have gone slightly lower with this area here. But that's fine. It's absolutely fine. And I don't necessarily want to put fireplaces in these rooms here. We are going to go through and put some radiators in these rooms. And have a fireplace in the main bedroom. I would definitely want a fireplace in my bedroom itself. Yeah, that's cute. That's giving me the vibes. It really, really is. The one thing that I think these windows are missing are some kind of windowsill. So I think I'm going to go through and maybe try and find a shelf that we can use on there. If I can size them down, I think they fit perfectly as a windowsill size. Oh, yes. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that for each of them. And then I'm going to crack on with the windows around the back and also choose the brick that we're going to be using for the modern extension. Yeah, those look nice. I think those just look very nice and realistic. I do want to use some guttering up here as well to make it look a bit more realistic too. So I'll probably use that curtain kind of pole that came with the Desert Lux pack. I think we'll use that here too. So what I need to do now is figure out where we're putting the windows back here. So I'm probably going to use a mixture of the same ones as that we've got here. Just right through opposite the other one. Georgians were very sort of uh, adamant on clean sort of symmetrical lines and I do love that but asymmetry for me is the winner it always will be but I think for these kind of like houses I think this is what we're going to stick with and I think I'll put a smaller one into this bedroom area just here but well, sorry it's a bathroom and we use a smaller one into this bathroom area here which in turn has made me notice that we haven't painted wallpapers on the inside of that chimney there how very dare it yeah, that's nice. I do like that. So as I said, I want some kind of access out the back here. I would love some kind of French door from the living area itself. And I want to choose the bricks here that we're going to be using and also the windows and doors for the modern extension. So I'm going to do something a little bit different back here. I love this kind of like Cotswold stone color against the gray. I just love the contrast between the two and it makes it look even more so that it's kind of been added on. Um, so I'm going to use this brick here. This is Harry's, by the way. This is from the Clean Collection, um, which I am absolutely loving, by the way. It's got some stunning pieces in it. It really has. Uh, for the roof texture up here, I want a, as big a dramatic moment as possible. So I don't want the lines too close together. And I'm wondering which one to use. I think I'll go for this one here from the Organic Pack, just because it's just got a little bit more of a thicker edge to it. And I think... I'm going to prefer that. Now, I don't like the way that this connects in here against the, the um, wall. So I'm probably going to use the same thing that I use for the guttering, that like window pole and put that across there as well, just so it helps it. Definitely want some bifo doors. I would love bifo doors going into my lovely garden area. I think that would just be the dream. We're going to use them. And we're also going to just flood this area in windows. I don't think I'm going to go all the way there. I think I'll put one more window off to the side of it and the same here as well, um, which is the the brownstone windows from Harry. I just love these. I really do. Oh, yes. I love the contrast of that at the back. Imagine this with like lots of greenery and stuff around. I think it's going to work marvelously. And then for the door, I'm going to use Felix's Grove door, but I don't know whether to do an open or closed version. I think I'm going to do an open version just so it looks a bit more inviting. Come in to me, you know, that kind of vibe. And windows over on this area here, I'm going to use these smaller windows that I've put around here. Look, one into the utility, one into the kind of media room. And I think I'm going to do another one here, just one on this side. Very much opposite the other one. Uh, 
just because I want to use as much space here so I can have like a projector screen on top of this wall. I think that would be the perfect way uh, to kind of get that point across, shall we say. Yeah, I am going to do another window here though. I'm going to do one more here because this is kind of out of the uh, the media room. I think that could work. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so this is very, this is coming together really nicely. So I think just to finish up today, I think we've got we're quite, quite a bit done. We know what we're doing. We are back tomorrow with this. But for today, what we're going to do is just get the guttering up, I think. This is what we're going to do. Little drain pipe off to the side here. And the same there too. Oh, they're actually working now. So does that go down with it? It does. Lovely. And then I'm going to use this as guttering. It just, it just, I think it works well. It works well. We haven't really got guttering in game, which is always baffling to me because it's, it would make such a useful little build object. A small thing could make a big difference as far as I'm concerned. And I'm going to put this all the way along. Might do one at the back as well. I think that would be kind of realistic. And I would like to add one onto this build here, but I think I'll do this on the side maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that. And as I said, I did want to have this as the kind of connecting point for where this is as well. So I'm going to put it here and I'm just going to move the roof down to it. I think that would be a lot easier than trying to line this up manually, you know? So if I can move you, oh, maybe not then. You know what? Actually, that's not too bad. <laughs> I think I'll keep it ex exactly where it is. Do you see what I mean? That just finishes it across that wall for me. It makes it look a little bit more realistic in itself. Yes, but I will be doing some guttering at the back here too. So we'll put the drain pipe there and then just do the guttering all the way along here. And there we are. Guttering all on. And I also put it on the back of this little extension area over to this side too. And I just think that works. Very nice indeed. Well, we made a nice start today. What we're going to be doing tomorrow is coming back and we're going to be finishing off this porch area here that we've kind of left. And we're also going to be getting a feel of this lot down. So I'm going to be starting to mark out where we're going to be putting things, playing around with a bit of terrain manipulation, and maybe moving this build over this way a little bit more as well. So that is what is going to be on the cards for tomorrow. Yes, it is indeed. But this is where we're going to leave you today. Thank you so much for watching the first part of the My Dream Home, the Farmhouse series. But I will be back with part two tomorrow. Goodbye.